Hey, what's good, world? It's your man, King Mondo, and this is another episode of King Mondo Television News. This is a special report about the drinking water from Flint, Michigan. I ask a lot of people on the streets. I ask them, would you drink water from the Flint River? They give me a strange look as to say, are you crazy? And then followed by a big answer of no. You probably know me from shows like uh, King Mondo Television. Um, I work behind the scenes on the Mandy Rosa show, uh, Flint City No Prisoners. I'm the one that posted the uh, controversial video about the uh, back to the bricks and the melee that went on down there. Um, but today we're going to talk about Flint, Michigan and the drinking water. When you wake up in the morning you want that first cool glass of water, you usually go to the faucet or you go to your fridge. Have you ever thought, where exactly does this water come from? Well, being from Flint, I would probably think it came from the Flint River. But when I heard it came from Detroit, uh, they threw up kind of a red flag. That's a mighty long way to travel just for a glass of water. Now you pay high water bills because your water comes all the way from Detroit. Now we have our own water facilities that cleans and distributes the water straight from the Flint River. Flint River? Would you drink Flint River water? Well that's the question. And uh, we're going to show you some answers. We're going to uh, take you on a full tour. And I'm going to meet with my man down there, uh, Councilman Sheldon Neely. And he's going to give us all the actual factuals. King Mondo Television News, 100. Hello, my name is Sheldon Neely. I'm the councilman for the city of Flint. I represent the 6th Ward. Today we wanted to bring people to the Flint Water Drinking Plant. As you can see behind us, is walking to Flint Water Plant Facilities. What we did today, we offered a tour for the residents so they can come and see their asset. This is an asset for the residents of the city of Flint that you pay for where every time you pay a water bill or even if you just drink water as you pass through the city of Flint. This is where the water is treated from the Flint River water. We have two sources of water inside of the city of Flint. We currently purchase our water from the city of Detroit, but we have the ability here in the city of Flint to drink the water from our river. And this is a tour today, and you're going to see how the water is processed, comes in from the Flint River, processed, clean, and then distributed. So I hope you enjoy this. I hope this is informative and educational for you, because this is your asset. Be a part of your city. Be a part of knowing that you own things in this community. Enjoy. residents of the city of Flint, how many of them ever came out to the water plant while it's in full operations, it probably would be 100% of them, the answer would be no. So we want to make sure that people understand that this is the asset of the people, and people owns this as an asset, and we want to make sure that we gave you guys a tour while the plant was up and operational. Uh, it happens four times a year, right? Um, we have a lot of chemical treatments, and this is some of the chemical formulas they have to learn, some of the, uh, the treatment uh, supervisors, and, and others that's uh, working on the water source has to be knowledgeable of. And we're going to take the tour. Feel free to ask questions, but this is an asset of the people. We have to really take a good look at uh, how this thing uh, operates and, and what we're going to be looking at in the future. 
uh, people that are complaining about the highway, the water, and the cost of water, but people need to see the intimate side of what goes on on the day-to-day -day operations uh, here in the city of Flint. Now, there's going to be some of the things that's going to be on the table in the future. They're going to be talking about blending water from Detroit. That's one of the things they've been discussing. And people have this uh, perception of Flint River water as being this awful source of water. It's not awful because you can drink it. It's, it's uh, it can be used for human consumption, for drinking and bathing uh, alike, and this water is safe. And we want to dispel some of those uh, myths about water being unsafe. Also, we want to make sure that we look at this uh, as they talk about maybe a Caridondi water line coming from Port Huron, bringing a raw water source into the community, and then the water would have to somewhere it would have to be treated here. Um, and so we want to make sure we educate you guys about that. Uh, so we want to go ahead and start to, I think pretty much everybody who's going to be here today is going to come, but then we're going to have more people tomorrow. Feel free to call your friends and some family members uh, to tell them about the tour that's going to be here tomorrow at 1 o'clock. The plan is only to be operational from, it was open, started the 8th through the 15th, right? This is an opportunity for all the residents to see uh, our treatment facility. And, uh, Thank you guys for joining us and taking the tour with us. water out to the residents of the city of Flint also take it in and pushes it back uh, through the whole system. Uh -huh. that, that utilize ozone at this point, and that 
sets. And I think, uh, I want to say there's only maybe three plants back in 2006. Okay. So that's getting to be um, more of the standard, especially with the river water. to another portion of the water treatment facility. Uh, we just learned a lot about the ozone and how they treat the water for contaminants and how they clean our system up. So that was very informative. I'm glad that we know how they clean the Flint River water up so it can be used for consumption by everybody in the My left, these are the old old treatment facility buildings right here. As you can see, they're, they're not functional anymore. Uh, they've been out of service for quite some time. You can see the uh, time has worn on the buildings, and they also have been victim to scrappers as well. There used to be enough scrap metal in this building to pay for the whole demolition of it, but it's been vandalized, much like most parts of our city. And you take a look at it, but structurally the building looks great, but it has been also victims to scrappers as well. This is the new facility here. Uh, over the last few years, more than $50 million has been put into the uh, revamping of this to make it a state-of-art building. We have our uh, above tower here uh, to make sure that we have enough pressure to push through the system. This is a state-of-art building. This is where we test to see what our heat rate is. 
So that, that dissipates in the water or this dis 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 dissolves or it, it, it actually coagulates right. mm -hmm. and then settles up. Settles to the bottom and at that point you start out open a switch bar and all this. Oh, this is for a gate to shut this off. I can shut this side off. Okay. And use that side. Okay. You know, everything we talk about redundancy. We have an east side and west side. Right now we're running the west side of the plant. Okay. The last time we ran the plant, we ran the east side. operational, how many jobs would this provide? Yeah, right now we've got probably about 20 people working. Um, I'd have to say somewhere between 30 and 40, 30 total 40. jobs. Here is after it's been hit with ozone, it's the river water after it's hit with ozone. And here you can see where we've added our ferric chloride, giving it the orange color. As we talked before, we make the water look worse before we make it better. Yeah. And then here was our filtered water that you, you all sampled there down we in the basement. Drink, so. huh? Now, do we right. test the Detroit water as it comes in? We do. We are required to test that, too. So we actually test the water out where we first take control of the pipeline in Davison. We make a trip out there every day to get a sample. And then we also are required to sample our distribution system through the state at least 100 samples a month for bacteria. So, so, so when the water comes in from Detroit, it doesn't come through this facility, but where is it? Where is it? How um, it actually comes in the back side of our property over here, and the water flowing through that tap right now is the city of Detroit water. So we're able to sample from here, but we're also required by the Safe Drinking Water Act to sample out the city. So, so we buy water from Detroit, put it through the system, we put it back into the sewer system. It's discharged back into the Flint River. Yes. Yeah. So we have, we have an intake an intake of water into our river source. Not only from natural sources. Right, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. So now one nice thing about the wastewater plant is they're regulated to take out most of the stuff. So there's only so much more stuff they can add as a byproduct of a, what we put in the drinking water. So, so if we had to use the Flint River water from, um, from its natural sources, if we didn't have that discharge from the Detroit water system, how would that level would that uh, level be up to enough to continue to, you know, um, supply every resident? Yeah, that's a, it's a tough debate. I've heard data going both ways. Um, I don't see why we couldn't do it. We did it in the past. Mm -hmm. But I, I, I haven't seen all the data. I haven't conducted those studies. So okay. Who has say, that information? I can't say officially. Um, most of the information that I hear from has come from Genesee County and their Karagani Water Authority. 
that's who you'll get information from. But it, it, there have any, been any independent studies or sources? Uh -oh, well, yeah, I should say, I'm sure it's an independent engineering company that gets the job. But, uh, so, so uh, but I think I want to thank the guys, uh, Mike. Uh, Chelsea, we thank you. This is been great. Yes, indeed. 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 Very interesting. I think that's something we should have been doing, you know, for years. Right. You know, we should be bringing our children through this so they can be exposed to this. I mean, this is a great asset to the city. I mean, we own this. It's like gold. We sit right on it and don't realize what we have. We could be making money off this plant ourselves. We could be selling money, I mean, selling water to other people. I think it's a great idea. I think we need to push it. We need to get behind it. We need to uh, other, let the city um, residents of the city know about this and to let them know. Because, you know, people talk, when they talk about water from the Flint River and stuff like that, mm -hmm. they don't have the idea that yeah, we yeah. got two waste plants, two different plants, a water plant and a waste plant. And they go in two different separate, separate places, you know. And so we need to get on this, you know. I'd much rather be getting water from here than building a pipeline and somebody else controlling it. Right. That way somebody controls you, you. Somebody control your own water, you control your own destiny. I have your own one. I think it's a great idea. Where can we uh, find your church? Uh, so we're going to welcome Martin Luther King, Mount right. Tabor Missionary Baptist Church. All right. Come anytime. Thank you. All right. God bless you. Good to see you. All right. All right. I hope you enjoyed the tour today. I hope it was educational and informative. Be more educated about the assets of what you own inside the city of Flint. This is your water plant. Weigh in on the whole debate about what should happen with our water. The rates are too high now. We all know that. But we have options. And this is one of the options. Can we drink our own Flint River water at a reduced cost? Or should we continue to buy, buy more water from other places? It's up to you. Weigh in on the debate. Once again, I'm Sheldon Miller. Thank you and God bless. Well, that was it for today. I hope you enjoyed the show. This is King Mondo for King Mondo Television News 100.